Hello and welcome to NC Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be machining a groove inside this diameter using the 2D contouring operation. We will pick up where we left the last tutorial, which was pocketing. So let's go to our machining tab. This is the groove that we will be machining. I'm going to add a 2D contouring operation. I'm going to open that 2D contouring operation by double clicking and in my tutorial library I am going to pick my 40 millimeter by 4 millimeter key seat. Now when you use 2D contouring You'll need to select some geometry for the cutter to follow. I'm going to go to my job assignment and I'm going to highlight this inner curve. Now when I highlight that curve, I can pick it individually, like so, by clicking. And then I could hold down the control button and click the other side to make the full circle. Or I could double click one and it will find the other side. So let's click double click on there and we'll go to curve. Now what I want the bottom level of this curve to be right here. So I'm going to select my bottom level and then click bottom level. And what I intend is for the cutter to come down, spiral out, cut that groove and then come up out of the hole. Let's go to the view cube and click on top. If we were to run the program right now, it would show a gouge because it would want the cutter to go out directly to this point and then start coming down. So what we want to do is pull out a lead in that will make the cutter come down and leave from this point. And how I did that was just by picking this little diamond and pulling it out, looking at the wireframe of the cutter snapping to the center there. Now let's go to our strategy. I want to pick roughing passes and I'm going to change two of these values. Both of these values I'm going to change to 0.25 millimeters. That will create three small tool paths that this cutter will follow. Now let's go up and generate our tool path. If we zoom in, you can see how close the three tool paths are. Now let's go to simulation and see what our toolpath looks like. I'm going to slow down the slider and click play. So you see the cutter went up and down on the, in the very center of the hole and did not hit any sides, and came down and did three passes at a quarter of a millimeter each. 2D contouring can be very useful because it has a lot of different settings and it can be manipulated to do unorthodox toolpaths. Let me demonstrate some of the versatility of 2D contouring. I'm going to add another 2D contouring operation. I will leave it as selecting the 12 millimeter cylindrical mill. I'm going to pick this outside edge and double click. And it has joined the entire curve. In my job assignment, I'm going to put that down as my curve to follow. 
I'm going to pick this surface as my bottom level, and I'm going to pick this surface as my top level. Now all this is going to do is have this cutter follow this path. Let's look at the simulation. It's going to be coming down here and just going all around the outside following the curve that I picked. A very simple and easy toolpath to create. Now let's look at some of the features. This little circle and dot is the entry point for the curve. You can start that at any position you want by dragging the circle. This little dot and circle are the entry points for the curve. If I highlight the circle in orange and pull it around, I can change the entry point. If I highlight the dot and pull it, it separates the curve, and I can put this arrow wherever I would like it to go. So let's say we only want to machine this area here. If I bring this arrow all the way around and then follow it with the circle, our cutter will now just come down here and go around the outside of the curve. We can also pick entry and exit points. You can do circular, or if we right click on them, we can change them to a line, a straight line. So let's generate this path and see what the simulation looks like. As you can see, 2D contouring can be a very efficient and easy to create toolpath. This tutorial has been about 2D contouring. Our next tutorial will be about chamfering the model. Remember, all the models used in these tutorials are available in a link in the description. Thank you.